Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Cartridge Monsters Overview. So I got the key to this game for free from the developer, but it was like two weeks ago. Okay, well, I'm late as always, what's new? <laughs> I was actually particularly happy with getting the free access to that, because I clearly remember trying out an alpha version of this game, like a couple months ago. So I'm very happy that the game is finally like kinda finished and I can actually enjoy playing it. <laughs> so Cartridge Monsters is a turn-based RPG that's essentially a direct inspiration from Shin Megami Tensei series or like Persona Union. Universes. Some say Pokemon as well, but I would say just a little bit. The main promise is that you're thrown into the world of Randy's and you have to destroy the tower that appeared with monsters pouring out from it. If you are never familiar with the Shin Game Tensei series or like Persona in general, the base idea is to catch demons or like monsters that will eventually fight for you. So it's basically you're using a companion system by choosing commands and skills to attack other monsters. Now this is my favorite genre of RPGs overall. I'm a huge Persona fan. I completed pretty much every Persona game there is. So for me this unofficial iteration in VR is something quite amazing for me. Now comparing to the alpha version, you can actually play it normally now, finally. Like I didn't really encounter any bugs, you can normally progress throughout the levels and just normally fight with the monsters. Now overall after playing it, I completed the first boss of the game actually. It's like I did not drop this game because I actually enjoyed playing it. My base feedback is that Cartridge has an excellent setup for being a multiplayer game. And Here's why. Back in the day I was a very big player in a game that's called Megaten. It was basically a MMO version of Shin Megami Tensei Universe, put with all the mechanics and kinda old school storyline in an online setting. That game is so legendary to me because I've spent countless hours playing it back in the day. And when I was playing Cartridge I was feeling like the same vibes, that it could have the same potential as Megaten if it would be like put into multiplayer perspective. Now, I know it might be a little bit hard on the developers because it is essentially an indie studio that's developing cartridge and seeing the mechanics and just like how the game plays out they did a pretty good job overall in my eyes this game has a huge potential especially for like you know a fan of persona myself it's something that if atlas would ever be interested in doing a vr title from the ground up in this universe i would literally die but having cartridge monsters now feels homey and it's fun it's actually fun i got the version on side quest so the game is there but i feel like they have to apply for app lab hands down for me both are Arcaxer and Cartridge Monsters now stand as a really strong RPGs that should be more visible because the only thing now they need is just RPG fans to notice that those games exist now. So who knows, we'll see. Wish them good luck though because I would gladly see this game having more complex updates or just evolve in a way that would strike a perfect niche for us here. Here we go with the gameplay. Alright, well I'm very curious what's different from the alpha version that I tried out before. Huh? That's way different beginning. <laughs> it took you long enough to get here. Yeah, I agree. I am afraid of your dad's. What? <laughs> he left you these islands. I have been waiting to give them for you. You will have to learn them as you go. Those medics back there need your help. Well, no, they don't need. Choose a monster to battle. The other two should run off. Okay. Grab the box, then just walk into. At least there's a tutorial now. <laughs> what to do? <laughs> Do I have a menu? Uh, I think not now, okay. I'm gonna take... Hmm... Oh, okay, well, it automatically took <laughs> that face though. Azario's shadow? Hello, hi to the Capture Clan. My name is Azirio and I'm here to help you. This is my shadow. No shit, Sherlock. You have no monster of your own, so I have sent you this shadow to help you. No time to argue without me, your journey ends here. Use the tools you received to send me to the battle. Then we can capture your own monster. Thank god there's a purple tutorial. Oh my god. Like, initially it was like so hard to understand what's going on, but like now, you can actually know. <laughs> Someone tablet, use tablet. Okay. Yeah, that works now. Azario's shadow. Summon gun, use gun. Here we go, open, load that pig, and fire. <laughs> There's so many caps in now, it's like attack, cure, health, mana, health, mana, capture, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, well, soul drain, whatever that means. Weakness, okay. It's turn-based uh, game, of course, we know that already. Oh my god, <laughs> what the hell happened there? <laughs> what? Use catch your bird, catch monster, okay. Come on! What? <laughs> Missed! So I have to aim? Oh, there's a scope actually! <laughs> scope says there. Okay. <laughs> I would not expect that. <laughs> Rarity poor. Don't patronize me, game. Oh wow. Well, now it's way different than it used to be. Okay, so now we have money, we have proper quests now. Apps. Heal, swap, release. So I have a monster now. Nightmare. <laughs> 
this doggy stats dark plus dark ball the void summons a black hole type dark both chance paralyze every attack of his is type dark okay weakness is light not like weaknesses like fire light water i'm pretty sure like from the shimmy game tensei as well it seems fine i mean he's poor so can't relate i suppose hello great job thank you you really helped us out i could not go to those out if to work i guess they were tailored to you i wish the game would have some kind of voice acting because in games in general on quest i'm like i'm really too lazy to read <laughs> unless it's a visual novel you know you will find more bullets and items around the world so keep an eye out for them my colleagues set up stores in each town you can buy more items with need for the cost head to tell us attack to the mayor she should get you on the right path okay items you find around the world store them in your tablet okay here your team after combat using the heal up oh it's not automatic healing oh i mean it's not new in the series so also heal by using pots in town by walking to them have to go to tell us can i go to mayor no? <laughs> okay. What is this tower anyways? It looks like a tower in Arcaxer to be fair, like just you know to climb. Or like Tartarus. <laughs> Tartarus from hell. Oh wow, this is now a proper city, what? That's popping. I'm gonna heal, for sure. <laughs> Welcome, by here, why your screen is covering your face? <laughs> uh huh, so I have to buy like stuff like that, okay. A diner? Well, I can enter as well. Who are you? <laughs> Evacuate monsters spotted. Okay, so those are monsters. Grow. Hello? Your church is on fire, man. Hello? <laughs> Let me capture you, maybe. I think this game had a voice commands as well, but they don't want on quest, so it is what it is. I think on Steam it works. Pretty sure you just have to switch on, you know, the option of voice recognition on quest in general, so I don't know why it doesn't work, but I'm not a developer, so. So this unlock 15 and 25. I'm pretty sure it's about the levels, so Dark Bless then. Oh damn. <laughs> Fuck him up. Oh man, oopsie. <laughs> At least the animations are pretty cool. It's not like those stock ones, you know, from the Unity or whatever, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, I think, attack. Then I can capture it. Let me try. Usually there's an indicator that you can capture it, so... Yeah. Hm. Okay, well, bye then. Weird. Maybe there's a set chance to capture something, so it's not like 100% every time. Because I'm pretty sure in Alpha it was a thing, but now I don't think. So, good to know. <laughs> I kinda dig the environment, you know, the whole vibe of like, you know, destroy city by dangerous monsters that whatever happened there. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> there are a lot of things here. You know what, what gives me? It gives me so old school MMO that I played like a long time ago. And I wish it would exist still, aside from private servers. But if anyone remembers the game called Megaten, which is a MMO version of Shin Megami Tensei kind of Persona universe. That was like my favorite MMO of all time. Time. Like it was so fun and I wish it would still exist or whatever But like the memories I think are coming back now that I'm playing in VR cartridge monsters for some reason That's very cool. Mayor, Jonas found help, yay. Logo? Capture clan logo? Okay. Talk to and help the citizens around town to clear out the monsters. Come back to me when you are finished. Okay. I will allow you to enter the graveyard's tomb. Clown figure? <gasps> Is this the Joker? <laughs> But I'm sure you will find information there on what caused all this. Okay. Joker was like the antagonist, I think, this word in Persona 3, so who knows? I mean, this game, pretty sure, it's not like a direct ripoff of, like, you know, the Shime game Tensei Universe and stuff like that. It's basically an, an inspiration, which is fair to kind of create its own genre. Smart cookies. Yeah. We need these monsters out here. Okay. Kill three girls. I get XP to capture countries and money. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Give me them. <laughs> now you're going down. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure I'm gonna play this game like sitting down because you know turn based games and I can like things of that nature there's no reason to stand up pretty much you know I'm immersed even sitting down like I would be standing so and I think I'm gonna play it more for sure I mean this is like exactly my thing like I would kill for an original persona game kind of on VR but this is gonna be enough I think for now I need to heal pretty much every battle Jesus <laughs> also I wish it would be like multiplayer or something because I think it can handle it it has an ideal setup for MMO you know Similarly to Orbus kind of style, like with the graphics, like encounters in the kind of town, I think it would be a hit with uh, multiplayer actually. But at first, it has to like fully come to quest. I mean, maybe on App Lab, there is a chance on that. Oh, I can flee as well if I turn around. Interesting. I mean, the soundtrack is popping. I already knew that from the alpha version, but like this is probably the game that has the most ambitious or just like fitting my taste soundtrack for sure. It's exactly like from Shin Megami Tensei kind of vibes. Shit, he's nearly killing me. Jesus. 
Jesus, fucking pig. Complete, finally. Give me my fucking money. Rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nightmare, six level. So his health and like just strength and stuff like that just rises. Just like in any RPG, basically. Okay, I'm not gonna like, you know, play a couple hours to do a review on that. Because it's kind of hard for turn-based kind of RPG games to like really cut down the footage. But so far what I see, like I actually pretty much dig it. Comparing to the alpha version, because alpha version was rough. <laughs> Let me tell you, it was rough. And it on paper, it seems like it's not like a much of an upgrade, but I can see that it's more polished and like not actually playable. <laughs> or at least I'm like more interested in just spending time here. I'm not completely delusional. There are things that could be way better, but we have to remember still that it is an indie project, not something that's like on the official Oculus Star, you know? Maybe one day, who knows? Like the future is bright. And especially for that, because I see the potential. Might be I'm biased because I'm very big fan of Shin Megami Tensei or like Persona series in general. So I would love to see this game progress into a fully realized project, you know? But so far for now, I dig it. You can actually enter buildings? Like, <laughs> that's interesting. Oh, hello, see? <laughs> I definitely feel like the old school vibes of Mega Ten Days that I've played. Yeah, have to see how it's gonna go. Ah, I forgot there's a spoof turning. Yay! <laughs> Auto summon tablet. Oh shit, I forgot that there are options as well. I mean, I didn't complain because I didn't even like realize for some reason. I always see what's about the locomotion, but like in this game, I didn't care. Why? Okay, I'll save the game and we'll see next time.